Hello, my dear brothers and sisters. I'm so glad that you're here with me once again. I'm, I'm on my way to Vespers right now, but I'm excited to share with you what we're going to be reading tomorrow at the Divine Liturgy. Are you ready? Can we start by making the sign of the cross? Let's start in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, we're gonna be reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew today. And we're going to be reading a lesson that is very challenging, very challenging, but it's important for us to hear this. This lesson revolves around the last judgment, the last judgment. And Christ our Lord is telling us that there is a, there is a time coming upon which we will need to give an account for everything that we've ever done, everything that we've ever said. And we're going to be judged. We're going to be judged, you and I. What does that mean? Well, let's listen to the Holy Gospel and reflect on that. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee. Let us attend. The Lord said, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne. Before him will be gathered all the nations, and he will separate them one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will place the sheep at his right hand, but the goats at the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, O blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and gave you drink? And when did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these my brethren, you did it to me. Then he will say to those at his left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they also will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister to you? Then he will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it not to one of the least of these, you did it not to me. And they will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Wow, what a beautiful reading, but what a fearsome reading. That's a little bit scary, my dear brothers and sisters. The fact that we're going to be asked to give an account. We're going to be asked to give an account of how we loved everyone that surrounded us, especially those that we consider to be the least, the least. Christ our Lord says something very, very remarkable in this gospel. He says, whatever you did to the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. What does that mean? That means that when we do something for someone in need, we're not just doing it for that person. We're doing it to Christ. This is what our Lord tells us. This is what our Lord tells us. We're doing it to Christ. We didn't just do it for that person in need. Christ was that person in need. And there are many people in the gospel reading that did that. That did that. And our Lord says to them, Come to me and be at my right hand, which is a place of honor. But then there are those that did not even care for those that surrounded them that were in need. 
And to those, our Lord sends them to a place that's, that's not a very good place. And that's something for us to keep in mind. That's something for us to keep in mind. We don't want to be with the goats. We don't want to be with the goats. We want to be God's little lambs. We want to be God's sheep. We're part of God's flock. So my dear little ones, Christ has told us that people will know we are His disciples by the way that we love one another. And we show our love by ministering to one another. So I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you to love one another and to minister and help and serve everyone that surrounds you. If you are feeling, well, I'm too little, Father, what can I do? You can do so much. And let me tell you how. Let me tell you how. If you're walking around your home and you see that your mommy or daddy needs something, well, then help them. Help them. If your brother or sister are in need of something, help them too. Love them. Serve them. Because when you do it, you're not just doing it to them. You're doing it to our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Always keep that in your mind. Always keep that in your mind. Ah. <sighs> That's the last judgment. I really wish there was more we could talk about, that we had a little more time together. But for today, I just want you to really pay attention when you hear that gospel tomorrow, when you hear them preach also. And remember, <clears throat> our Lord is going to cast a judgment. And He's going to look at the way that we treated those that surrounded us. And the way that we treated those that surrounded us is actually the way that we treated Him. So keep that in mind. My dear brothers and sisters, not only do we read from that gospel today, but it's also, or rather tomorrow, forgive me, but it's also Meet Fair Sunday. We say goodbye to meet for quite some time. We're preparing for Great and Holy Lent. So God grant you a beautiful Meet Fair Sunday and allow you to learn from this reading according to the Gospel of St. Matthew and bless you as you try to love everyone that surrounds you so that one day we can be placed at the place of honor upon His right hand. God bless you all and keep you. I look forward to seeing you once again. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye. Patristic Nectar Publications is pleased to announce a new conference entitled The Sacred Arts, Preaching the Gospel Without Words, with lectures given by Father Maximus Konstas and Jonathan Pajot. From Friday, March 29th to Sunday, March 31st, conference topics will include The Origin of Sacred Art, How Iconography Preaches the Gospel, How to Read an Icon, How Architecture Preaches the Gospel, How Music Preaches the Gospel, and a sermon by Father Maximus. We hope you will join us for opportunities to pray, meet our speakers, attend a young adult social hour, and network with like-minded individuals. A $60 registration fee includes an in-person seat, access to a live stream which can be viewed from anywhere, and the conference recordings. To register and find more information, please visit conference.patristicnectar.org.